Okay, one more. Do one practice swing and uh, let, have it. Try to think about that that right arm, that good position at the top. Good, and then swing through. Get our feet just slightly closer together for the, the eight iron. There you go. Good. That club's a fraction long. Good. Okay, we're going to look at your backswing um, during the early part of our session before we started working on this one particular thing about your left foot. So uh, let's look at the how that foot comes off the ground a little bit when you take it back. Now Lydia Ko is on the right and you'll see that that foot stays perfectly flat. So when she takes the club back she does not lift that foot up. Keeps it stable. Okay let's look at some other pros. This is N.B. Park who uh, is one of the top players in the country, in the world. You see when she takes it back, that foot stays flat. Now it's okay for the knee, it's okay for your knee to kind of move in a little bit. Her, her knee and her hips turn, but she does it, in, she keeps her weight in between both feet. She stays balanced on both feet, keeps both feet flat. As she takes that back, she just does a turn. If you watch her head here, she's keeping that head in a circle and just rotating. But she's keeping both feet flat. Just turning the shoulders, turning the hips, turning the knees. But she doesn't lean over to the right foot. This is Paula Creamer. She takes it back, keeps that left foot very flat. She just rotates. This is Michelle Wee, keeping that left foot flat, keeping her head in the circle. As she takes the club back, she just rotates. She doesn't lean. Now, after talking about it a little bit, we started working on taking some swings, thinking about keeping that left foot flat. So let's see the swing on the right now after you did some really good work. You're turning, look at that left foot, staying re real flat, just like the pros. Very good. So you're keeping that left foot flat in your backswing. Well hit. Marissa, as always, you're, you were hitting your driver well. But there is some areas that I want to work on to help you hit it even better. And one is your posture. That's the, the, the way you tilt over the ball, how much tilt you have, how much you reach for the ball. You're reaching a little too much for a driver. So we'll work on that a little bit. As you set up to hit your driver, I'm going to compare your setup and posture to several pros. First, we're looking at uh, a comparison to Lydia Ko. And there's two things that I see that we need to adjust a little bit in order for you to have a better, more consistent swing. You get a lot of good drives, but you need to be a little bit more consistent. And I think some of your inconsistency, and that word, I know it's a big word, that I want you to hit hit the ball solid, hit good shots every time and not just occasionally. And uh, so we're going to make some adjustments to help you hit the ball more consistent. And so let's look at a couple of things. One is you can see that the distance that her hands are from her body, from her legs, is a little bit smaller than yours. You, you have your hands way away from your body and your legs. And so she doesn't reach out as far. Her arms 
are hanging down almost right under her shoulders, but they, they come out a little bit, but not very much. This number 71 degrees is the angle that she has her arms coming off of her shoulders. And let's see what 71 would be if I put it on your shoulder and drew a 71. That would put your hands in this location. And so you're reaching much further away, uh, your hands away from your shoulder, than she is. So if you were to set your arms off of your body the same angle that, she, that Lydia Ko is, it would be where that blue line is. Then you can see where you have your arms going way out here. And so that's one of the things I want to work on. So you stand a little closer, a little taller, let those hands fall right under your shoulders. Another way to look at the difference between the two, if I drew an arrow straight down from uh, the front of her head, her hands, you put it right at 90 degrees, that's straight down. Her hands are, are on, one, on that side of that blue line. If I drew an arrow straight down from the, your front of your head, your hands are on the other side of that line. And so I'm wanting to set up a little bit more like the pros do. It'll help you uh, hit the ball a lot better. We may have to choke up a little bit, shorten that club in your hands a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Right now I want to make sure that we slowly start moving towards a really good professional posture and uh, continue your aggressive swing at the ball but we need to now start building a professional setup. This is Roy McElroy, who's number one player in the world, and his arms are hanging right under his shoulders. His hands are uh, on the inside of that blue line from his head. He's not reaching as much as you are. This is Tiger, and, and again, he has his hands closer to his legs. He's tilted over a little bit more than you and his hands are on the inside of that blue line. They're on the side of the, and they're not reaching out beyond his eyes. He keeps those hands under his eyes. So the next time we get together, we'll work a little bit on your posture, and not just with the driver, but with all of the clubs. And uh, that'll help you be a lot more consistent, getting your weight centered on your feet and your hands comfortably under your eyes and under your shoulders. Sure. All right. Ooh, that's awesome. Look at that. That's beautiful.